Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lawrence product expert. Today, we're gonna help you sort out the differences between channel one and channel two on your HDS carbon units. So to help you understand the difference between channel one and channel two, let me show you where they differ on the back of the unit. So as I turn this unit around, you can see we have the two sonar ports here. The blue one, which is this old seven pin connection, is your channel one. And the new 9-pin connection, which you're used to plugging your structure scan transducers in, is your channel 2 connection. Okay guys, this unit is essentially how it would come out of the box. So what we would do from here is we would go ahead and press the Pages button. Then we go to Settings, and up to Sonar. Now as you can see, this is what we kind of termed Legacy Mode. This is what a lot of the older softwares look like. Um, in a minute, we'll show you how it looks like it with the new software also. So what we would do here is we would touch installation. And as you can see up here, it says source. But if you look down here, it says channel one and channel two. So if we look at channel one, as you can see in this list, there is no total scan transducer listed. And that's because channel one is the blue sonar port, which the total scan transducer will not plug into. So if we touch channel two, as you can see, if we scroll down through here, it gives us the total scan. This is the mid-high, which is what 99% of the population out there is going to use. Um, we also have the total scan low-high, which is a through-hole transducer for boats that are typically out in the ocean and stuff like that. And then this is also where you would find your HDI low-high and mid-high 9-pin transducers that plug into that black sonar port. So we would select total scan mid-high here. As you can see, it populates there. We hit save. So now if we look at the frequencies over here, it shows channel one, which is your blue sonar port. We're not gonna mess with those. Anyone you wanna select with the total scan is gonna have the channel two behind it. Okay guys, so I showed you how things looked without a transducer plugged in. So the next thing I did is I went ahead and powered this unit off. I connected the total scan transducer. Now what I want to show you is the total scan transducer has what we call transducer ID in it. So with the unit powered off, I plug in the transducer and then what should happen now is that transducer should tell the unit, hey, I'm a total scan, use this. So let's go ahead and we'll hit the pages button. We go to settings and we go to sonar again and we go to installation. Now as you can see, it's listing here the total scan, medium high, and as you can see how it's grayed out and I can't touch it. So what that means is the transducer and the unit are talking together and the transducer is telling the unit, I'm a total scan mid high, this is the setting you have to use, you can't change me. So now that we've talked about the unit in a single source mode, we're going to talk about your carbon being in a multi-network sounder mode. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to press the pages button, you're going to go to settings, and sonar. Now you can see this screen is a little bit different as it shows channel one, channel two. Now typically your channel two is going to be turned off, but since we had the total scan transducer hooked up and it knows that it, there was a total scan there, it went ahead and turned itself on. So this is how a configuration is normally going to look. Channel one again is your blue sonar port. Channel two is your black port on the back of the unit. You can see all of this looks a little bit different. We'll go down here, we'll touch installation. From the source it says channel one, and if we touch that, it gives us channel one or channel two as a source. So if we were just looking at channel one and transducer type, as you can see, again, there is still no total scan transducer in here. So a lot of times guys with bass boats may have a transducer plugged in there that they use that's a shoot through hole. Typically, that's going to be your PDWBL, so we'll go ahead and set that like that. Now we would go to Source 2, and as you can see, it says I've got a total scan connected to me. Therefore, I can make no changes. So one of the great things about this is if you're running a boat that you have units at the front of the boat, you've got units at the console. We did this so that now, anywhere that you have a sonar source on this boat, if you touch this, it'll show up here. So you can set all of your sonar sources from one unit and they'll correspond with the other units on the boat. So again, channel two set up for the total scan transducer and channel one is set up. It didn't save it.
because I didn't tell it to save earlier. So whenever you select your transducer, that's something very important to remember. Select Save. Okay, so as you can see now, it says right up here that the unit is Source Channel 1. So if I were trying to use my total scan, I would want to go to the source on the side of the unit here and select this unit, Channel 2. Now that I've selected this unit, as you can see, my depth and my temp are showing up on the screen. Um, I'm getting a bottom lock. So this unit's ready to use now on the total scan transducer. Now if I were in a bass boat and I was wanting to run down the lake and I didn't want to use my total scan transducer but I wanted to use that transducer that was glassed into the hull of the boat, I would just come back and I would select this unit channel 1 and it would start getting my depth information from that transducer. So that in a nutshell is how everything works. Anytime you're dealing with your total scan transducer, you always want to be looking at channel 2 as your source. So while it seems really complicated, it's actually pretty easy once you remember that. So now, let's get these units and go to the water.